Stano, we end the season at home to Morecambe on Sunday, the last game of your loan spell from Fulham. Sum up your time here. It's been a pretty memorable season for, for so many reasons. How, how would you sum it up? Yeah, I've loved every minute. I think um, from the first day I come in um, and we're here in the big bank, taking my photos and things to sat here now in, in the ground after this trained um, and had a whole season um, with ups and downs, new managers. Um, but yeah, it's been, a rem uh, like I'll remember every minute of it and I've enjoyed my time here. Yeah, as you mentioned there, when you signed, we, you know, we gave you the fanfare that, you know, the signing did deserve and change your manager. It was Matt Taylor that, that brought you in and someone that you knew having to work then with, with Nico, or then work and moving on to working with Gary. You know, it, it can be quite disruptive to a season, but how, how did you find that period? Um, I think it's part of, it's part of learning. Um, Obviously, there's going to be you're going to have loads of different managers in your career. Um, if that's three in one season, I don't know. But um, obviously, Matty, come, Matty was here and brought me in, and I had a good couple of games with him and enjoyed my time with him. And then um, Nico came in and done a brilliant job and took over the team and uh, in a scoring form with him as well. So um, I enjoyed that. And then when the the new gaffer come in, um, it's just been an up from there. I think he's given give me faith and shown shown courage in me and what I what I can bring to the team and how I am individually around the team. Um, so yeah, oh, it's been, it's been a great experience. There was a natural expectation amongst the supporters when you joined us, but did you ever feel any pressure to, to succeed? Um, not really. I knew, obviously, there was going to be pressure with the name and things, but I think I just wanted to come here and play as much football as possible and learn as much as I can. Um, obviously, football's a long career and this might be the last time I hear it. Might be, I might be here again. Um, in, in the future and maybe towards the end of my career um, but it's just a learning curve of coming down here and getting exposure to first team football and being able to deal with it and take it back to Fulham and show them what I've learnt here. You found that form towards the end of February and you scored that goal in front of the big bank which I, I know that was a big box ticked for you then that game against Fleetwood and, and you got that injury where you found yourself stretched off were you how concerned were you at that point, I think there was quite a lot of concern around for your for your welfare after that game. Yeah, obviously it's a dream come true scoring in front of the big bank. Obviously, I used to come here as a kid and watch watch my dad do it as well, and other people that have gone on to do big things. Um, so that was a moment that I remember probably for the rest of my career. Um, and then obviously here at Barnsley, um, I hit form and scored again. And then obviously went to is it Fleet, was it Fleetwood, um, and wanted to obviously carry on scoring and finished the season on a high um, and I just got my foot caught in the ground and I was quite concerned after I tried to play on but um, the, the physio staff done an amazing job and told me that this could be quite serious. Um, luckily it wasn't, obviously I went back to Fulham and they got me scans and helped me as much as possible um, and then from then I just wanted to get back out on the pitch and like I said finish my time here as, as positive as possible and obviously that was to come back in the derby and do what I could to help the team. Obviously we didn't get the result we wanted but to be able to play in a local derby as big as this um, at my age and something that I've obviously dreamed of as a kid, it's, it was amazing to come back out here and then obviously I picked up another niggle in that game as well. Um, had a little calf strain which probably came back too quick maybe, who knows, but um, I wasn't going to miss that game for anything and then um, obviously we went to Ipswich and it wasn't the result we wanted but um, I got 30 minutes and luckily I'm fit enough to hopefully be able to come out here and perform and put on a show on, on um, Sunday. And that final game on Sunday, I, I'm imagining you're going to want to end with a goal in front of the Big Bank as, a, as sort of a, a nice goodbye to the supporters who have been so brilliant to you this season. Yeah, for sure, obviously. Um, I've got a lot of thanks to bring to them, obviously. Um, they've supported me through the ups and downs here, obviously, like, like we went through. I didn't score for 23 games and at some places that can that can lose faith in supporters and um, and lose lose faith, like I said, and they might not back you as much and things. But here, I think I've been back the whole way, and I'm so thankful that they stuck by me. And hopefully, I can come here on Sunday and score in front of them. And as a collective, I imagine the goal as a team is is just to not to lose another game. It would be a disappointing end to what's been a fantastic season if we were to lose seven in a row. It's about giving the supporters something else to cheer about and sending them home happy over the summer. Yeah, for sure. I think obviously we knew we were safe a couple of weeks ago and, and obviously that was the goal when Matty come in and the, gaffers, the new gaffers come in and 
next season they're going to be pushing pushing at the top and no expectations are going to be around the club. Um, but yeah, the supporters have been brilliant. They've stuck by us the whole time. What, six, six defeats in a row and not, not normal. We've played some big, big, big teams um, at the top half who are pushing to be in the championship. Um, Ipswich and obviously Plymouth being one going for promotion. Um, I think it's been a hard run, but the, the team and individuals have learned lots massively from it. Um, and yeah, our main aim is to come out here on Sunday and show the club, the fans, what, what we're like about and go out and put a performance on for them. I'd imagine your personal goal is to break into that first team again with Fulham in the Premier League. Given we've played some of those sides, you know, like Europe, Switch, Sheffield Wednesday, who we would say are, are championship level sides, you must have learned so much playing those sides that you, that you can take back to Fulham. Yeah, for sure. I think um, obviously playing in big stadiums like that and being able to, to deal with the atmosphere and deal with disappointment because obviously we didn't get the results and, and things like that. But yeah, like I said, I've learned massively just being here um, in general, like playing League One football, it's been quite tough, but um, I think it's been a great experience and I've, I've loved every moment here. Morecambe are, are fighting to stay in League One and they've been on fantastic form. They know what they need to do to stay in the league on Sunday and that is to beat us. How do we ensure that we make it as difficult for them as possible? Um, I think we just go out and play with freedom and yes, enjoy ourselves, but put a performance on that's going to be professional and and help help each other win and I think we need to keep keep pushing and hopefully we can put a performance on that that obviously will give us the win. And finally, there'll be a great moment to share with the supporters at full time on Sunday with, with the signing event. I imagine you'll be signing a lot of Stansfield Nine shirts. <laughs> but it's almost a, a nice way for you as well to say thank you and perhaps goodbye to, to the supporters that have been so brilliant to you. Yeah, for sure. I think obviously I'm looking forward to the game but after this speaking to people and um, showing our support because obviously they're amazing, they follow us um, here, there and everywhere, like over a thousand nearly went to Ipswich on the weekend and we lost 6-0. That just shows what, what loyal supporters we have here. Um, yeah, and obviously it would be quite emotional for me personally as I'm obviously going to be returning back to Fulham um, and obviously the club means so much to me, so to say thank you to all the fans.